And next to Hurricane Barrel, the effects being felt in the Cayman Islands as the storm continues to track to the west. It's back up to Category 3 strength tonight. Bear Roll was downgraded to a Category 2 storm this afternoon, but was still a powerful storm as it lashed at the Cayman Islands with high winds and heavy rain bands. Forecasters expect Barrel to dump four to six inches of rain on the Caymans while also producing life-threatening surf and rip currents. This morning to all of this is like, it's overwhelming. Barrel is also expected to make landfall around the U.S.-Mexico border as a Category 1 storm early on Monday morning. And we had rain around these parts tonight, but what about tomorrow? Anthony Copeland yeah. joins us with what we can expect. <laughs> yeah, the saga continues when it comes to these showers. Mm. I mean, disruptive showers at this point. No widespread severe weather, but heavy rainfall is going to be the main thing we're going to be looking at as we head throughout the next 24 hours. So if you have any afternoon, evening plans, just make sure you have the umbrella ready to go. And some of these storms could be on the stronger side. Now, we were just talking about Hurricane Barrel, here's the uh, late evening update. It has slowed down 16 miles per hour is due moving off to the west. Therefore, it's feeding, feeding off the warmer waters in the Caribbean. So right before it's making landfall somewhere along the, uh, the Yucatan Peninsula for this evening, it is currently sitting at, at a Category 3 Hurricane, meaning winds, maximum sustained winds around 115, gusts around 140. So a lot of rain, as Kai Tor was just mentioning, along with life-threatening storm surge. Now, hurricane watches and warnings posted all across the Yucatan Peninsula. And as we go throughout time here, it's still looking to make a reemergence across the Gulf of Mexico before making another potential Mexico-U.S. landfall somewhere along the southern Gulf Coast of Texas or Northeast Mexico for Sunday night into early Monday, potentially as a Category 2 storm. So something bears to watch down at the Gulf. Across uh, the North Coast, across Northeast Ohio, we're looking at some showers, even some heavy downpours pushing across Stark County, Wayne County, over to Holmes County. We're looking at some rainfall rates upwards to an inch to an inch and a half per hour. And it's feeding off the humidity and it's stalled out front that's acting as a trigger to give us rounds of afternoon and evening storms. And we're seeing the tail end of all this, so that's good news. So we're going to wrap up your Thursday evening under the clouds. Now, this front is eventually going to be lifting up to the north as a warm front, a southwest wind flow for us, meaning more heat and humidity on the way throughout the midday hours. Then as our next cold front slides in, that's going to trigger widespread showers and thunderstorms once more for the afternoon and evening. And therefore, we're looking at some more impacts before a nice refreshing start for your weekend plans for Saturday into early Sunday. So for tonight, we get the rain out of here. Mostly cloudy conditions, partly cloudy around daybreak. So peaks of sunny skies, temperatures starting in the low 70s. So we're talking about some more impacts specifically between hours of five and I'll say eight o'clock. You want to keep yourself aware if you have any outdoor plans for tomorrow afternoon and evening, mainly because of that thunderstorm threat, because our next inbound cold front is some of those storms so very low end threat that could be producing some gustier winds. It could also impact the Guardians games. Hey, the Giants, they're coming into town to start their series. So looking at storms moving out, but we'll call it mostly cloudy with temperatures in the upper 70s, low 80s. Let's get the full timeline here. I just want to zip through to your Friday morning or into the early afternoon. We're looking all good. Temperatures should be approaching the low 80s around that time. Then clouds will be on an increase around four and five o'clock. I'm sticking with this solution with showers and thunderstorms spreading in from the southwest and again packing some heavy downpours, maybe a brief damaging wind gust with some of this activity as the cold front slides in around five and six o'clock for tomorrow afternoon and evening. Here's seven o'clock, still looking at some showers around first pitch, but luckily most of this will be trending out to the east as we get closer to around 10 and 11 o'clock post sunset. Things are looking drier and then a westerly wind by the time we're waking up for early Saturday with temperatures starting in the low 60s. 
retreating into the low 80s for your Saturday. Sunday's not looking that bad. Your 10-day your, uh, outlook brought to you by Medina Country Club. Temperatures retreating back into the upper 80s, low 90s for Monday. Tuesday, another chance of showers and thunderstorms before our next decent cool down and more seasonal temperatures for Wednesday, Thursday. Then it's time next week we warm back up into the mid 80s. Back to you. All right.